Definitely Doom. not combat ready. Someone's going to be doomed. Prepare to be doomed, Era. He will take it. There's a level one grave available. He tries to wind his way through the trees. And while that was happening, Seneco went down in the mid lane. But let's keep our eyes on Era as they dive. The IO even coming in. They're still committing for this. The Doom's running off fairly soon. But there's the Zeus salt. Helps secure the oh, kill. Oh, dear. Well, they had grave, though. Did it, he didn't actually Didn't save. expect the Zeus salt. Yeah can't expect when the Zeus is going to pop his ulti. So every time you're, when you're playing against Zeus, you have to use the Grave extra early. It's not something that is ideal, but you have to do it. Oh boy, Seelkid has a TP scroll. And the Grave, he runs, he will, t he will TP out. While that was happening, always when a flag gets picked up. But Handskin in danger as well. One more auto attack from the lead to secure the kill. Now Dendi in pretty far. Centaur stun, but a counter Centaur stun from the neutrals! Might be enough for Dendi to get off an additional bolt. It will. Dendi's going to live. He nukes down that creeps. Dendi survives. Some unexpected assistance from the jungle. Never complain about that. <laughs> Era chasing out Funic. He does have one more heal. I think that's enough. No stick. Oh, I Wyvern? See, I see. I see. Does save him. Against all the burst damage. Uh, very, very good item selection against those lineup. It's a very useful item. Oh, here Seneca. we go. go. Counter initiated by the insane jump in from Jonas and Fun. Also catches the era. Then the Winter's Curse trying to counterplay. There's always one of oh, five. We'll get rid of the Aegis. The era still healthy here, though. He wants to go for round two. Four dead with the A. Just make it five. Nice second life, Io. <laughs> I don't need it. That's wow. what you get for jacking my Aegis. BKB is on the way for Funic and NIP are moving in behind the Alk. They're going to show him top yep. lane. Jonas and Fun hunting. BKB should arrive in time. They do not see the courier coming in either. He, the he can he just needs. run in. The rest of Navi smoking, except for one man, your carry Lina, just solo pushing the bottom lane. Now they doom live. They stampede him back. They have the relocated available. It's already used, but he's so damn fast that he got back to the exact same location. And now the Winter Wyvern curse comes through. Funic chasing through the tree line. They dunk on Era. Era's going to go down. Limp Force back. Didn't even manage to get off the Chemical Rage, but the IO heal keeps him alive. The IO will now relocate back forward into the waiting arms of Seneco. Oh, the Wyvern. Nope. Seneco gets the last hit again. He TP'd home for this. Or rather, to the tier two, I should say. And now, Navi, two kills the richer, looking to push. Oh, hey, yeah, why not? Mech on top of this. Oh, I, Jesus. I, I thought the, the other guy was going to get the mech. Okay, apparently He's not. He's so fat. This guy will get the mech. First game, only one game with this new temporary roster, but they're going to look to hold this. NIP trying to turn. They jump on Funic. BKB's available. He does not get it off just yet. Now that Necrophose all comes through, but he's healed up by the Cold of Brains. BKB, Scorched Earth now. Funic turns. He even tries to toss out a level death on the way forward. NIP in a lot of trouble now. They've committed pretty much everything. The Necrophose nearly dropping to the spears. He may go down. They just wear off now. As Hanske runs into Yara ever so low, but again kept alive by always one of Fly's defensive play. And now, Dendi rains down the pain. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Triple kill off the bat. Seal kid could be an ultra. Dendi wants it. He's diving for it. He's fogged. Uh, and he's not going to get it. But Seneco turns on to Lip now. Yule Scepter available. They can commit for Lip if they'd like. Lightning Bolt. Yule's is a creep. All right. Well, a little bit of an intimidation Yule's there. Just saying, we don't even need to kill you. We'll get you later. By the way, the, the Doom is already at full health damage. <laughs> it seems like that. The Necrophos is just struggling in all the fights. He can't really get a lot of damage done because of all how far behind he is in the game. Into the pit. The ERA healing up and Navi are no committing for this. No invis balls this time. Oh no. No <laughs> shenanigans. They have to do this the old fashioned way. Nobody really wants to go in mark first. No, you go. You fight the Doom. No, you fight the Doom. <laughs> Alright, BKB Alex says, I'll do it. He runs in, tries to fight. He does get a lot of damage out on Funnick up the bat. Good physical right clicks there. Lena, meanwhile, chunking Jonas and Fonlo, but Navi get the Aegis, and Deyera leaps forward. Always going to fly again. The Cold Embrace saving lives. They got to finish these low HP heroes. Arrow running all through the middle of the Navi squad, but now Force back. He will go down, and the doomed Limp unable to really engage. He tries to hang on, but his health drops quickly. Limp will go down to a two hero stun. The wipeout from Seneco is four fall, and they're not done yet. They want Jonas and Fon. Slaving, uh, just barely failing. The Dendi has 13 Bloodstone charges. Could save his team, maybe, if he wants to go for the heal. Yeah, just to air off for now. Oh, they may no. just sacrifice Dendi for the greater good. Yep, the, the sacrifice. No, he's Bloodstone. sacrificing himself. Yeah, to though. May die twice. They got a lot of stuns here. 
No eggs yet on Era, unfortunately, but still can. They should be able to take this fight, though. Can, will this they? Team is around. Will they? Alk stuns on cooldown. So Nako's in position. The stun comes through, and the Wyvern's going to engage. Can keep DR alive if need be. The PK, the Alchemist, goes to work. DR cold embrace again. Always want to fight with the huge cold embraces. Completely changing the course of these fights, making this the Huskar just such a pain in the rear to build. And then kill, and they just can't do it. It's four down. Dendi right back in the fray. Right back for three more Bloodstone charges. And GG, Navi, stomp out NIP here at game one. My god, that felt like the old Navi, dare I say it went down to always want to fight. <laughs> Impressive yeah. stuff? Oh, that would have been an easy kill on Limpet. No, may, uh, may, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not with here the comes charge. Hanskin. Shackle the not available. The fearless one. Hanskin now getting the nether strike off. Into oh, position. the Bash! Has already committed. The Bash! Needs it. Needs it. Doesn't get it. Oh then he will live. And elsewhere on the top lane, Funnick being pursued out. Big bad Ursa jumps in, but the mech's there. So too is the grave. And Dikyara, well, he pops the ult, but gets kited so freaking hard. Just instantly loses the Aegis. Always want to fly with the drop up and down. Oh, the double the wall. walls, he steals it, but what does it matter? Arrow's he has the Shadow he, Fiend. He can just stand in the middle of this and engage. Ray's coming out onto Dikyara. The pile drive plow through from hands. Get a seal kid. Continues to live oh, secondary grave. That's destroyed the power shot by the power shot. Nice shot by Dendi. At long last. Able to get on the board here. A nice shot. 3 by 0 2. It's been a while since he had a kill, though. Oh, here comes the fearless handskin once more. Diving shackle. In. Doesn't get it off in time. Actually, does connect him to a tree, though. And now Focus Fires turning on handskin, who's going to need to back off Seneko. Oh my Try god. Try for the reload. The damage is real from the Viper right now. He's doing Doesn't so. Get out. Power shot. Oh, he flicks out just in the nick of time. Well, look for it. Smoke now. Dating around the man in front. They're about to get vision on limp. Smoke breaks. And they do see him, but that's at, at the same moment, they're also jumping in on a Yoda some fun. The lasso comes out on the hand skin. The shackle was there in Yoda some fun. He starts to take the lion share of this Wind Ranger damage, but tanks through it, turns the fight, and they start getting cleaned up. NAP. And that was such a quick reaction. Easily reactions. slaughtering now. He, he reacted. Um, oh, wait a minute. Cards are there. Queen of Pain on over the top. Good follow up from Limp, trying to finish off Seneko. The snowball will do it. And then Dendi tries to walk in solo, but three heroes in position. Era also chasing, has the Omni Slash, and the Fissure comes oh. in. It's a five-man mid from NIP. And like you said, didn't even lose the lane that badly. Did Liara now caught out by the shards as well as the Fissure. Horrible position for him with the tower denied in front of his face. He's helpless against this. The Cold Embrace won't save him. One last punch. Because then it sets up for them to get like the Tusk Dazzle early, since yeah. these are oh, not heroes that Navi want. All right, here we go. Big smoke. Two teams jumping. Dikyara, he grunt initiates onto Hanskin. Does find him, but the Quap's there with the three hero smackdown. Almost killing them instantly. Jonas and Fon looking to limp forward. Hanskin gets off the uppercut, survives through it all. And although Dendi steals damage, an Echo Slam will delete him from this fight. And now an Omni Slash ends era. The crush comes through from Dikyara on the backsides, but so far three for one and limp. Looks for more Shadow Strike in five seconds. TP out Yonas and Fon. He found a fourth hero, the load man to get out. Is going to be the Slardar. So okay. Yonas and Fon brought down the Wyvern. No, it's a threat on the Slardars. Looks like they did scout Yonas and Fon in the trees. Now Slardar going to TP in. Wyvern looking for the curse. He finds it on two. The crush follow up. This could be big. Static Storm deployed as well. But Yonas and Fon counter initiates. He echoes onto Sonico. He gets the three hero backstab Fissure. And then the Queen of Pain also comes over the top. Trying to finish the job. Omni Slash onto Denny. The Snowball saved them through it all. But Tierra does clean up. Limp. Maybe uh, able to finish off the lingering heroes. Three down. It's going to be four with a big old totem from Yonas and Fon. The Aegis lives and Ditya Ra slithers away, but more or less the same fight we saw before. The smoke movement again. There we go. A little bit too late though to get that tower mid as Blink in from Ditya Ra. He's going to crush and find both. Jonas and Fon caught out. There's the Static Storm Winter's Curse combo. That's what Navi have been looking for. And they back Limp into the damage. This could be the turnaround fight they've needed. Limp able to retreat out. Dityara sticking around the snowball from Hanskin comes through. They should be able to clean him up too. It's yeah. three down. That was all Dityara. That initiation into a two and the glimpse as well from Sonic. He did not even have vision. The winter. glimpse. He just saw one and he just went for it. Then they backed they into had, the static They score. had to make that play because they're so far behind. And that glimpse on the queen. This is Let's this is like you're seeing light at the end of the tunnel for Navi. Finally, you see light at the tunnel. That's chance. You should have brought him in. Then he could have dropped his... But I don't want to go. Static Storm, a little ambush from Sonico. Clips his limp out of it over the Static Storm, unfortunately. Now Dayer oh, the, the trees. They found him. They isolated him. They're not going to get the Slardar followed for that curse. Still Navi try to fight, but they're down to Slardar. Their big team fight hero and a specialist 
coming in. The Queen of Pain with a very nice ultimate. Dendi lashing down the Tusk, but it looks like Dendi may die here as well. Fissure finishes him off. Didn't cake also mean bread? Or like one of the translations uh, of it? I didn't know biscuits mean hamburgers here. Huh? They don't. Biscuits like a type of bread. All right, forget about that. Roche fight is coming. Oh, free illusion. Unfortunately, it gets oh, killed off. And now the oh! Echo jumping in. Yo, that's some fun with the initiation. The Quapple comes from behind Limp. Beautiful follow-up to that. And Dendi will go down. And now the uppercut. Oh, no. Always want to fly. Three down. Likely to be more. They will curse and maybe get seal kid. Not uh, even. This is Omni slash just not even needed. This is GG. Hangs on to it the whole time. <laughs> Screw it, man. I'll get it later. So, Hera will get focused here a little bit by the Slardar. Doesn't really seem to... Uh, Affect him at all. Oh, he Omni slashes a cold embrace target though. Ooh. Oh, this might be the that kind of hurts. Now Blade Furies as they try for the vacuum fall the Fissure. Now expiring. Limp going with the Queen of Pain ult turns around and hits four heroes with it, but doesn't really have a whole lot of follow up. Yonas and Fawn's waiting. Watch out for the Echo. Watch out for the big old angry totem to come through. First it's the Tusk rolling the deeper. Handskin committing. Still hanging on. Yonas and Fawn just watching while his team kills off a few or tries and then he jumps. He pounces. Clubs down another. They force out the buyback on the Slardar, who has no BKB, who has no help really at all. You're just a lonely razor. His all his own BKB also expended. The wall being wasted there. They never even got off a curse. And this will be a second lane of Rax. And with that, you know some fun echo cooling down. Snowball save again. Hanski making the plays. This may allow them to get off the echo. One second and counting. He's done. He's cursed. Will he get it off? No, can't quite. Don't even know if they need it though. This is with the death of him. Still arrow runs in. Hacks away. Omni Slash already committed and now hunting for more. Blinks onto Funny. Crits him once. Almost finishes the job. Runs through the wall. Keeps on chasing. And on the other side of the engagement, Dick Arrow will fall to the Wrath of Limb. Where are you going, Seal Kid? No way. Oh, that's okay. Arrow's ratting. Forget about the Dazzle. Who even cares? He got off a grave. He's going to try to hang on for a little bit longer, but more importantly, it's Mega's. Era has done it. Tier 4's fall. Navi. May as well just call it now. Limp even going to slow them down, try to stall. They won't even bother. They'll just go for kills. They know the end is here. Yonas and Fawn engage you as well. Echo Slam already committed. Tanky a few nukes and bam. Thrown down. NIP take it. Two to one.